Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of March 22nd, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're seeking a psychic reading, a personal reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. There will be an extended reading to today's reading uh, on Vimeo and you will find a link to that and all that I offer in the description box below this video. Now, Pisces. First thing, I pick up a Virgo energy around you that's going to resonate with someone. This is a week of taking your power back. This is a week of stop beating yourself up, brushing yourself up, off, moving forward, wishes granted. It's a week about getting what you want, okay? Um, also, it looks like the love life is good for my Pisces, and that applies to my singles as well as my couples. So, let's get started. Pisces, this is your week of March 22nd, 2021. Let me also say I have many new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you for your comments. Like I said, they are greatly appreciated. Pisces. Week of the 22nd. What we got going on for you? We're starting with the Seven of Cups. Tells me. Whatever's going on, you guys have manifested. Three of Wands coming in that there's been a lesson well learned in the past. Now, not only has there been a lesson well learned in the past, you're going to apply that to this current week. You're going to share that with someone. So, someone is coming to you for advice or opinions. New money. New money coming in to play from a Pisces. Now, is that new money? That Ten of Pentacles represents the highest financial card in the deck. And we have an unexpected offer of assistance coming from the Emperor. Now, this is a dominant, prominent, take charge type of person. This is almost like this person has come in to save the day. Center of the reading. Look at there, guys. The world is your oyster. Everything you want and desire right there. Like I said, you're taking your power back. You're getting your way with another major arcana of the Empress. And the Empress is the Mother card. Okay? Positive changes on the home front. And y'all notice I have a power couple here with the world. The Emperor and the Empress. Six of Cups reuniting with someone from your past. Now, before you start whining, Jackie, I don't want to reunite with someone from your past. This is someone you have not thought about. Someone you're glad to connect with. There is the happily ever after. And we have the happy union. Wow, this is a pretty cut dry reading for my Pisces going on here. So let's jump over here and clarify. See what else we got going on. Wow, amazing energy. And the world is your oyster. Loving it. This is still, we're looking at your week of March 22nd. Okay, to go on with the Seven of Cups, I've got the Two of Pentacles. So in regards to this new money, if you're juggling a little bit financially, it's okay. Because it tells me that new money, it's all about timing. So when it's all about timing, no amount of wishing is going to change that for you. That Three of Wands comes in with an unexpected offer of love. Notice I use the word unexpected. Ten of Pentacles. There it is again. Reunion with someone from the past. Look at how happy they are. Like I said, this is someone you are delighted to reunite with. Um, for a lot of you, I think this is more so in friendship than I do in the love life. Even though we got a lot of you here in the love life. I don't necessarily refer to it as someone from your past. With that emperor comes the Knight of Pentacles and a good business deal. And on top of that world, quick moving, quick moving wait. There's a Knight of Swords. What's going to come rushing in is on top of the Empress is the Lovers. 
Now, it's not just the lovers. This is the start of something really big. Uh, notice you mirror each other. You can finish each other's thoughts and or sentences. If I've got any single Pisces out there, this is actually something that shows potential of actual relationship. Where if i got any couples, this is ascending to another level as far as engagements and or commitments. Six of Cups comes in with that Ace of Pentacles. There it is, that new beginning in money. This could be hidden money, hidden treasure. Something you're not expecting. Ten of Cups comes with that happily ever after. Comes with that unexpected offer of love. Now, let, that's the twice we've seen that unexpected offer of love. Let me say this. At first, you may be skeptical. You may not believe it's this person. Or you may think that this person doesn't meet your expectations when indeed they do. Pisces, this could also be another Pisces. I want to throw that out there. Two of Cups coming in with the Strength card. Strength is on your side, no matter what you do, because like I said, it's rushing in. It's going to be quick moving. And in the center bonus, we have, in that not-so-perfect world, the not-so-perfect card of the Five of Wands, which tells you there are still challenges ahead. Not obstacles, but challenges. Pisces, you have an absolute amazing read going on here. I'm going to stop right here. I'm moving over to Vimeo where I'm going to continue with the same spread to see where we're headed for the week of the 22nd for you. Uh, if you guys would like to join <laughs> Below. The link below is in the description box. And if not, psychic readings at JackieTomlin.com. You guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.